Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Stink King Sports. I'm your host, Nicholas Stink King. And today, we're just going to have a quick uh, recap of the NFL and some predictions for Sunday. But first, I just want to start off with a little bit of NBA news. James Harden has added the 76ers T and Bucks to his trade request list. Uh, as you can tell, they're all East contenders. He does not want to compete with LeBron in the West, which is understandable, until the finals. Um, so it should be interesting to see where he lands up. We're all highly anticipating to see where he will land up. Uh, so I'm excited to see where the Rockets decide to deal him, who makes the best offer, and what he goes for. Uh, it should be a boatload of picks uh, and possibly some rather respectable players. So I'm excited. Just going to move on to the power rankings real fast for the NFL. I have the Chiefs at number one. Listen, they're the best team in football right now. There's no doubt about it. Um, they've avenged their only loss. They're playing great. Their offense is electric. Their defense is much improved. And the Chiefs are number one. The Saints, they're tended to have at number two. They have a nine-game win streak. They're balling out offensively and defensively, even without Drew Brees. They have so much, so much talent. I um, like what the Saints are doing. I like what Sean Payton's doing. I like the Saints at number two. The Steelers are having number three. Uh, they are 11-1, but they have been playing ugly in their past couple games. Uh, that They took their first loss to Washington on Monday night, which, in my opinion, was due to the fact that they could not punch the ball in at the one-yard line with four opportunities. They tried a little cute play uh, to pass it to the tackle or the guard, uh, and he dropped it. And then Benny Snell could not punch in on fourth and goal. Chase Young made the play of the game right there. And they gave up 14, you know, they gave up a 14 point lead to Washington. I mean, they had everything going in their favor and they just choked it. So I, they've been playing poor in the past few games. Yes, they didn't have Bud Dupree and some of their linebacker core. But all in all, the Steelers, I'm thinking, just going to fall to number three. I thought they were overrated. Many of you did as well. So I'm going to have the Steelers at number three. At number four, I have the, uh, the Green Bay Packers. They're nine and three. Listen, I love Aaron Rodgers. He has a potential to win MVP. I got them at number four. Five of the Bills. Uh, they're nine and three. They have a big game against Pittsburgh on Sunday night. I'm excited to watch that. Six, I have the Browns. They are nine and three. Their offense is playing great. Their defense kind of scares me a little bit, but Miles Garrett is looking like a potential defensive player of the year. Um, and you know, he's just he they're just they're a good team. And they're very surprised. They've had a very easy schedule, yes. Um, I'm not sold on the Browns. I'm not sold on Baker Mayfield, but I'm sold on Nick Chubb. And, you know, they're nine and three. They're gonna make the the playoffs, so I'm excited to see what they can do. Number seven of the Colts, they're eight and four. Their defense is phenomenal, um, and they had a big win against the Texans last week. So, and a, a final and a fumble recovery to end it off with about a minute left. So, the Colts having way too many close games. Uh, I think they're a very good team that I would not want to face them in the playoffs, especially Philip Rivers. They're eight and four. Number eight of the Rams, they're nine and four. Yes, they already played. They blew out the Patriots last night. Um, I mean, their defense is very good. Golf just needs to limit the turnovers, and I think they're a very, very good team, a very competitive team. But right now with Golf and his turnovers, I think uh, I have to keep him at number uh, number eight right now. Um, though they are 9-4, and four, they're playing really well. They're probably going to win the division uh, from the looks of it. I mean, Seattle's just so inconsistent. Who I have at number nine, they are 8-4. and four. Listen, Seattle's just very inconsistent right now. I can't figure out if they're going to win or lose. They had an ugly loss to the Giants on Sunday. I mean, that really, you know – that it was just it was inexcusable. They've had some really bad games. They have a game against the football team coming up in a couple of weeks, which I think could be very deadly to them. I mean, we saw what they did against the Steelers against a injured defense. Now imagine seeing them against a weak defense. I mean, and then Russell Wilson is just not playing very well at all. Got to be completely honest. Uh, so I have the Seahawks at number nine. They're just slipping. They're so inconsistent right now. They're just slipping. Number ten, I have the Dolphins. They are eight and four. Their defense is playing really well too. It just needs to step it up. They have a big game again this week against the Chiefs. Let's go over my picks, though, for this Sunday's NFL games. Uh, the Titans versus the Jaguars. I have the Titans. Listen, Dory Jackson is still out, uh, but I think the Titans' rushing attack, led by Derrick Henry, the league's rushing leader, should be enough to withstand uh, a Jaguars uh, upset. Again, Mike Lennon is making a second start for Jacksonville. However, I do think the Titans will be able to withstand a Jacksonville upset. Uh, next is the Vikings versus the Buccaneers. I got the, I got the Buccaneers. Kyle Rudolph is doubtful, and Irv Smith is questionable. Uh, for the Vikings offense, meaning Kirk Cousins will have no safety valve tight end to throw to uh, that we have seen a lot of this year, um, which I think could be could be very, very uh, detrimental to a Vikings potential win. Uh, the Buccaneers can limit uh, Dalvin Cook and make Cousins throw. I think they have a very good chance to win this game. Eric Hendrick is also out for the Vikings defense. So all in all, I think the, uh, the odds are pointing the Bucks' favor on Sunday. I'll take them to win the game. Next up, the Chiefs versus the Dolphins. Listen, I have the Chiefs. Tyran Matthews is questionable for the Chiefs' defense, and Van Noy is questionable for the Dolphins' defense as well. I just feel like I can't bet against the Chiefs right now. They're playing so, so well. Um, they're the best team in football, in my opinion. Uh, finally get that number one spot because of the Steelers' loss, which we all uh, were just uh, awaiting. Uh, kind of with, you know, just waiting. I mean, we kind of all wanted to see it to a certain extent because they were so overrated, um, and Steelers fans were getting rather annoying. Um 
So I'm just happy to see it. Haven't seen a Juju TikTok. Uh, if you all pay attention to that, he hasn't posted one since the loss. Hasn't danced on any logos. Hasn't made another video. So I think we kind of shut up their little swag thing that they had going on. Um, and, you know, the Chiefs have taken their uh, crown back at the top of the NFL. Uh, next, I have the Brown- Broncos versus the Panthers. Listen, I have the Panthers. McCaffrey is doubtful. That means Mike Davis will be taking the starting role again as the Panthers starting running back. However, uh, the Panthers have had some close games recently. Uh, they haven't really, you know, they've, they started off relatively strong with a chance to even win the division, and they've just kind of fallen off in the past several weeks. However, the Broncos offense, which I was excited to watch this year with Drew Locke coming off a very good rookie season in, his, in like the face finals, you know, a couple starts that he had towards the end of the year. The addition of Melvin Gordon to pair with Philip Lindsay, Cortland Sutton, and Jerry Judy. I mean, Sutton towards ACL, it's not his fault, but I mean, the, the Broncos have been very disappointing. Um, and I just think the Panthers are the better team, so I'm going to pick the Panthers to win. The Broncos just can't seem to score points whatsoever, so I'm going to take the Panthers. Listen, next up, the Texans versus the Bears. I have the Texans on one man only, uh, Deshaun Watson. Yes, the Texans are stacked with injuries right now, but for the Bears, their star defensive player, Khalil Mack, is questionable. Um, you know, it is, you know, with a back injury, it is unknown if he will play. Uh, yes, and then the, 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 the Texans are, have questions with uh, wide receiver Kiki Kuti, who should be a vital, and Brandon Cooks, which you know, really hurts the Sean Watson. He will have probably Kenny Stills and uh, Kuti and Cooks are questionable. So hopefully both, if not, if only one of them will play. Uh, regardless, I do have the Texans. Uh, Sean Watson's playing like the best quarterback in football. And, you know, he just needs to get out of Houston. Uh, that image of him, you know, just upset on the bench after that loss is heartbreaking to me. I really like Sean Watson's competitor. He's a winner and he's, he's sick of losing. He has nothing around him. I feel so bad for him. I, I don't know if, you know, if he still has that. I'm sure he still has that drive, but, I mean, he just needs to get out of Houston. But I will take the Texans on Sunday against the Bears team that's so lost right now. Uh, I have the Cardinals versus the Giants list, next list, and I have the Cardinals. Both teams are missing star players, potentially. Daniel Jones is questionable with a hamstring injury for the Giants. And Isaiah Simmons, who is not a star player but a very good uh, addition linebacker safety, is questionable. But D-Hop is questionable for the Cardinals. Uh, regardless, I do think the Cardinals will be able to withstand the Giants. I don't know if the Giants can pull up pull up two upsets like this um, in a row, uh, especially with Colt McCoy potentially starting. So I'm gonna t- I'm gonna hedge my bets and take the Cardinals this week against the Giants. Cowboys versus the Bengals doesn't have the Cowboys. The Bengals defense is uh, is very uh, inefficient right now because their offense is lackluster with Brandon Allen starting. I mean, with ever since Joe Burrow got out, I really can't pick the Bengals anymore. I mean, Andy Dalton's just a much more uh, poised quarterback. It's going to be his first start against uh, Cincinnati uh, since his departure. So I will take uh, the Cowboys to win uh, on Sunday against a Cincinnati team that uh, has lost their, their rookie quarterback and um, you know has no uh, chance to make the playoffs uh, mathematically anymore. Next, I have the Colts versus the Raiders. Listen, I can take the Colts. Uh, listen, the, the Raiders almost lost the Jets last week. Thank God the Jets fired Greg Williams after that engage eight blitz with 10 seconds left. I mean, that was either a tank move or just him thinking he was smarter than anybody else. Regardless of the Raiders are a weak team, especially without Josh Jacobs, who is questionable uh, on Sunday. Uh, the Colts defense is just so, so good. And their offensive league should be able to withstand a average uh, Raiders defense. So I'll take the Colts to beat the Raiders on Sunday. Next, I have the Jets versus the Seahawks. Listen, no big uh, named injuries for either of these teams. I'm going to take the Seahawks, though, to bounce back against the ugly loss against the neighboring New York team, the Giants, and bounce back against the worst team in football, the Jets. Next, I have the Packers versus the Lions. I'm going to have the Packers. Listen, Kenny Galladay, Jeff Okuda, Matthew Stafford, and DeAndre Swift are all questionable. I mean, Matthew Stafford is playing absolutely horribly right now. Kenny Galladay hasn't played in at least in, in five or six weeks. Jeff Okuda has been a big disappointment for the Lions this rookie season. I just, I, I, and yes, the Packers seem to traditionally struggle with the Lions, but I'm going to take the Packers on Sunday. I mean, the Lions are just an absolute mess. I don't know what's going on there. Adrian Peterson is looking like they're one of their best players right now, which is so sad to say. But regardless, I will take the Packers on Sunday. Falcons versus the Chargers. I have the Falcons. Julio Jones will be out. But, I mean, you saw that ugly, ugly loss to Chargers on Sunday, 45-0. to zero. I mean, Jesus Christ, that was horrendous. I mean, 45-0 to zero to the Patriots and Cam Newton, that is horrible. The Falcons I have, and I have them winning. Um, I'm not going to say it's going to be as big as 45-0, to zero, but I do have them winning. I think Calvin really is a big game, and they just abuse the Chargers team that's just, you know, 
just just absolutely got killed on Sunday. I mean, that was embarrassing. Uh, next thing that really intrigues me and it means a lot to me, Washington versus San Francisco. And yes, it may be a little biased, but I'm going to go with Washington. Listen, we saw what San Francisco was able to produce against the Bills on Monday night. Um, and I, Morgan Moses and Brandon Schiff, Sheriff are questionable for Washington. Their two best offensive linemen and Antonio Gibson is out. However, Washington is playing very well right now. Their defense is strong and, you know, just the offense for San Francisco, they don't know who their quarterback is. They're, they're a mess with injuries. I think Washington takes advantage of this once again and, and moves to 500. I really do. I think they move um, to, to six and seven. I think they do it. Um, uh, or I'd be thrilled. Not 500. Uh, excuse me. I messed up. I think they move to six and seven. I really do. Um, should be interesting to see what does happen, though, on Sunday. Um I would. I, I'm going to pick Washington. I think their defense is going to be enough to stop the mainly uh, Russian attack San Francisco team. I think Alex Smith will be able to dunk the ball up enough to tear McLaurin, Logan Thomas, uh, and J.D. McKissick enough to to get a Washington win. So I'm going to take Washington to win, pull off an upset against the 49ers. Uh, next up, the Saints versus the Eagles. I'm going to take the Saints. Jalen Hurts is making his first start. Thank God. Carson Wentz is the one of the worst quarterbacks in football. It's unbelievable. Uh, how he was an MVP candidate a couple years ago. But Jason Peters is out just to add on to it. The Saints are, have won nine in a row. I don't see him losing to the Eagles. The Eagles are just out of it for the most part. Give me the Saints to win on Sunday. Taysom Hill to keep that winning streak going. Next, I have the Steelers versus the Bills. I'm going to take the Steelers to bounce back. Uh, Joe Hayden will be out for the Steelers, and they will still have some linebacker issues, uh, players coming off of injuries. Um, but I will take the Steelers. I feel like their team is just very, very good. Mike Tomlin's a very good coach. Uh, I feel like they bounce back from this win. I feel like he's going to be pushing the living hell out of them out of practice all week after some very pitiful performances in the past couple of weeks. So I'm going to take the Steelers on a big bounce back win uh, and to stop playing like a JV team, as Mike Tomlin would say. Next on Monday, I have the Ravens versus the Browns. I'm going to take the Browns. The Ravens, I don't know what's going on there. I mean, they're kind of a mess right now. I will take the Browns to win. Uh, uh, I mean, I just don't know. They just, it doesn't seem right. I said it earlier in the year. Uh, I kind of stuck with the the national uh, attention that they were a top five team. I, stuck, I kept them up there, but in my gut, I always kind of had a feeling, and they've just really fallen off in the past couple of weeks. So I will take the Browns to move to ten and three, uh, which is amazing to be quite honest. Without Odell Beckham, especially, but uh, I mean they're just they're playing really well, and I can't I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pick against the, the the team like that. So that's all I have for you today, folks. Enjoy the Sunday football. Uh, enjoy college basketball. That's back. We're gonna be getting into that more. Uh, as I start to pay attention to it a little bit more, I've been paying attention to Maryland. It's an ugly loss to Clemson uh, on Wednesday night. Um, and college football, um, we're going to get into my playoff predictions soon. Uh, all in all, though, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing. I'm out. Peace.